Let's see how we can use a mobile device to control a display spot. You've seen how you can publish blocks to a spot by dragging the block onto the spot on the display page, like this. In this video, you'll learn how you can do this from a mobile device instead. Specifically, we'll switch the spot name test between the welcome block and the slides block. Note that both these blocks are in the main group as indicated at the top of the page. First, we'll add the mobile device to the system. A mobile device can either be added as a mobile spot or as a regular display spot. The difference is that each individual display spot is configured explicitly, while a mobile spot will have the same configuration for all its associated mobile devices. This makes a mobile spot appropriate for temporarily connecting devices to the system, as when visitors use their own devices. But in this case, the mobile device is more permanent as it's intended for staff use and will therefore be managed explicitly as a display spot. Enter the IP address of the blocks server into the mobile's browser, followed by slash spot. Make note of the ID number shown. Then add a corresponding display spot on the display page. Next, create a control panel based on a composition with two buttons. Configure the first button to control the test spot setting its current block to Welcome. Duplicate the button and change its settings to instead load the Slides block. Back at the main display page, publish this panel to the mobile. Press the buttons while watching the test spot. If there is audio in any of the blocks being played, you may also want to control the volume level of the display spot. Let's add a slider for this purpose. I set a reasonable minimum level so the slider can't turn the audio off entirely. Back on the main display page, click the reload button to update the mobile, making the slider appear. Drag the slider to change the playback volume. Just as we here control the playing block and volume of the display spot, you can directly control any other function of any subsystem managed by blocks.